Hey guys, this is Ty in the Gear Lab, and I'm here to talk about shoes for the trail. Super excited to break down all these shoes for you. Every shoe's construction, going from the outsole, midsole to the upper, design features, technologies that I really love. Trail shoes are very on trend. Every brand has their own take, so I can't wait to walk you through them. So the first shoe I'm gonna talk about is the On Cloud Vista. The outsole, as you can see, are dropped in as pods. What I love about this is it adds to the flexibility. You don't have a full length outsole with a lot more rubber. You have these pods. It's very, very, very intentional at where these are placed. This is made from On's Mission Grip rubber, and it's also luggy, which gives you that traction. One of the other things to mention is On Speedboard. This is one thing that I love about these shoes as well. Like, There's a lot of technology that I don't think a lot of people know about. Moving on to the midsole, what we have next here is On's famous Cloud Tech. So when you see these holes, this On, you know, the signature On look, the midsole is theirs. They're doing it themselves, and I just love how it's really you know used throughout all of their products, all of their footwear. It's very lightweight, it's very cushy. It's gonna give you that comfort, but also that stability. Something that you definitely need as you're taking different angles, you're going uphill, you're going downhill. Going on to the upper, what you see here is this really nice breathable mesh upper. We also have a TPU film. So this TPU film is usually heat transferred onto the upper. You get less seams. It's a little bit more durability here in the toe cap. You have more durability here in the heel, on the quarter, the interior side as well, or the medial side as well. The tongue is very lightweight, it's very minimal. You can see that it's perforated for breathability. You're gonna see a lot of these trail shoes have garages or lace keepers. I like how On did a very simple version of this, so when you have your laces, you can just tuck them under here. It's a nice little elastic. Going to the inside of the shoe, this is not a cheap footbed. This is a high quality footbed. You have this molded piece right here. It's raised, it's gonna cup your heel really nicely. It's clearly made out of a different density. It has a different texture. Usually this is the first thing that footwear companies like to skimp on. It's nice to see that On does not skimp here. We also see that there's a perforated footbed. You can kind of reduce some weight, but I think the main thing here is you get some breathability. This shoe is great for the city, it's great for the trail, uh, so it's gonna be really great for anyone who wants to transition seamlessly between both. Next up, we have the ASICS Gel Tribuco 11. So what I love about ASICS is they have a long lasting heritage. It's great to see them have a, still have a presence in the trail running community. I'm gonna start off with the bottom as always. We have the ASICS Group Compound and their outsole. This is one of the outsoles that I mentioned that has a full length outsole. You have these little pockets or these holes showing the rock plate or the, the midsole and the rock plate underneath. You do lose a little bit of flexibility, but I love again is that you have full coverage. You know, they really care about you not slipping. They have their own formulation for the rubber. Moving on to the midsole, what I love about it, first off, is you're just gonna notice that there's some raised edges. It looks like a topographic map. It feels very outdoor. This has their FF Blast midsole formulation. It's gonna be very cushy. It's gonna provide a lot of rigidity. One thing that you don't really see here is that there's a gel pocket in the heel. ASICS is true to their gel formulation, and even though they don't show the tech here, it's here. Moving on to the upper, this isn't gonna be your typical rolled good where all the pattern or, or the entire pattern is the same. This entire upper, it's very, very intentional. You had someone design this, which means that they did not skimp on this. They were very intentional with where they wanted the, the breathability, where they wanted the structure, where they wanted the protection. They're reinforcing the shoe where you need to and still adding some more design language here. Going into the tongue and the laces, what I love about this is that it's a little bit more padded, very, very comfortable. It's gonna feel very, very plush on top of your foot as well as below your foot. There's also another like lace keeper, so it's elastic. This guy actually has a little stitch here so you have something to hold on to. Going inside of the shoe, the footbed, it's easy to clean, it's easy to replace. What I love about the single density and the one piece footbed is that it's simple. You don't have all these potential failure points. If you see here, this blue color, it's actually another layer of cushion. This is just another layer between the midsole and the footbed to give you another layer of cushioning. So you have outsole, you're gonna have your rock plate, you're gonna have your midsole, you have that struggle cushioning, and then you have your footbed. So you are literally stacked. So this is a great example of, hey, I can take one shoe, I can run on the road, get on the trail, get off, no problems. All right, so next up is Norda. This is probably the newest brand in the whole entire lineup today. We also did a video with Ben O'Meara, our VP of marketing, kind of breaking down the brand, introducing it to Huckberry. This is our first year launching it, so everyone in the office is hyped about them. I'm hyped about them. First thing you're gonna notice is a full length outsole. It's very, very light. This is around 260 grams, I believe. So it's one of the lighter shoes, but it looks chunky. You expect it to be heavy, um, but it feels light. 
We have Vibram's Light Base and their Mega Grip Crown Pound in this outsole. We have directional lugs, so you have like these teeth going in this direction and then the opposite direction of the heel. As you're going uphill, you're gonna get traction. As you go downhill, your heels, your brakes, they'll keep you on your feet. These pillar lugs, so this really reminds me of track spikes. This is gonna be awesome for a soft ground. Mega Grip is an awesome compound because you can expect the rubber to really withstand a lot of different conditions. When rubber gets cold, it will turn into ice skates. What's nice about these formulations is that they're meant to withstand that. They're meant to be um, basically, you know, more adaptable to a wider range of temperatures. That's, that's probably why Noda chose that compound and that formulation for this shoe. There's no actual branding for Dyneema itself, but one thing that Noda likes to call is this is a bio-based Dyneema upper. It has a smaller carbon footprint, and it's also known to be the world's strongest fiber. You have very, very selective, you know, points of protection. So you have this toe cap, it kind of runs all the way through here. Um, so you have a little bit on the quarter, it runs into the heel, you have it on the medial side as well. Again, when you see Vibram, when you see Dyneema, you know, it's kind of a symphony. You're seeing all these different parts kind of come together really nicely in one awesome, beautiful, lightweight shoe that's bomb proof, it's made for the trail, um, and super, super versatile. As you can see for the midsole, this is not off the shelf. This is an order designed specifically with Vibram. It uses their Vibram SLE compound. There aren't like true edges. There's not a lot of the typical stitch and turn edges like what we see on the ASIC shoe and the on shoe. So what you really see here is this laser cut definition. And so you have an almost seamless upper. So you can see a lot of these elements are heat transferred. You can see this like transparency here. You can see a lot of this X-raying here. Um, you have less stitching that you have to worry about. Going into the tongue, you can see it's slightly padded. It's not super padded. It's a minimal tongue. They almost went overbuilt on the bottom and they went pretty minimal, but yet durable up top. They have their own branded footbed. This piece of material has so much traction, has so much friction when you're running in it. I love that they actually use Dyneema here because when this material wears out, that's when you start to get blisters, that's when you get some discomfort. So I love that they decided to use a very durable material here. This is the Lamborghini of trail shoes. So when you're in it, you're gonna feel set up for success on the trail. So if you're someone who is kind of tired of what's been out there, if you're someone who wants a refreshing take on a trail shoe, this is gonna be the shoe for you. All right, so next up we have the Solomon XT6. This is my personal favorite in this lineup from today, but you've probably seen this more and more um, in pop culture. You've probably seen this more on people who you know in your circles. This shoe was launched in 2013, so it's not necessarily new to the game, but you saw Pusha T wearing, not this exact model, but you saw him wearing Solomon as well. And so it really became more of a fashion icon at that point. Solomon made a big splash in Paris Fashion Week. And then since then, you're seeing people wear it more casually. Me in particular, I just love Solomon because when I wear it on the trail, I never slip. They're comfortable. They're a little bit more firm. They're known for their ACS, their agile chassis system. They focus on the product. They focus on going to what their athlete and what their core consumer really wanted, a bomb-proof trail running shoe. And then now they're really, really seeing the benefits of it. You have, you know, basically two big outsole pockets. So you have the toe to the midfoot, and then you have this heel pocket. This probably has the deepest lugs out of, you know, the entire lineup that you're gonna see today. Great for running on the trail, especially when you need traction. So going into the actual formulation, it's the Conta Group outsole. Whatever Solomon has been doing back then, they're still doing it today, and they're still getting it right. Their midsole, again, very unique. It's a little bit firmer than what you're probably used to today. When I'm running on the trail, I like to feel it. I like to know where I'm at. Tactically, it really helps with stability. It really helps make sure I have a sure footing. And so for me, having this firm midsole is what I prefer. Very, very common theme that everyone has is basically like a mud guard of some sort. Having the TPU film is, you know, very common. It's not only being this mud guard that goes all the way through the heel, it's also forming as reinforcement for their eyelets. This particular upper, it does have the Gore-Tex lining in it. So this is gonna be great for a winter shoe. It's gonna be really, really awesome. It's gonna keep you dry. You're gonna have this very quick lace system. I personally love it. I like the cinch. I like how I can just tie it down and then tuck it into the lace garage. So going into the inside of the shoe, this has a textile lining. Nothing too special here. It is padded, it is comfortable, but really when you pull out the footbed, you have Ortholite here, two pieces. You're gonna see some brands have a two piece, some, some people have a one piece. I like the dual density because it has this heel cup. It's gonna really lock you in. So you have a perforated forefoot, easy for, you know, to drain water if you wanna clean it out, easy for drying. So really, there's a lot of tech in this shoe. When you think about the premium price point, 
you're really getting what you're paying for because again, they loaded as much as they possibly could in this shoe. Nowadays, I'm seeing these shoes everywhere. People wear them to the office, people wear them on the trail, people wear them to, you know, getting coffee. Anyone can wear this shoe and that's what I love about it. Going further into their archives, we also have Salomon ACS Plus OG. So this shoe was actually launched back in like the early to mid 2000s. It actually references the old school Salomon logo, just this little S right here. You have a full length outsole. It's very luggy. Again, you have the Conta grip, agile chassis system. Here it is again. It's a great design detail. It's a little bit different from your typical trail runner. It's a little bit chunkier, it's a little bit higher. Going into the upper, there's a lot of different materials being used here. You have this toe bumper, which is like this rubberized material. It basically feels like a great, you know, toe cap, offers a lot of protection. So you have these textured kind of plasticized pieces all nested nicely in this full length overlay here. Brand eyelets, if you look really closely, they all have the Salomon logo. One of the design languages that stayed true without, in addition to the outsole, was the lacing system. So it's still the cinch method, you still have the scratch. Obviously Salomon changed things up over the years, but it's still at its root, at, at its core, the same lacing system. Going to the inside of the shoe, it's very simple. Textile, cushioning, it's gonna feel like your typical sneakers or like your runners. The actual footbed, this one's gonna be a little bit different. You don't have the molded heel component like we saw on the other shoe. So this one's just a single density. It looks like they're using the Ortholite recycled material, which is great. And then simple textile lining, easy to dry, comfortable. It's ready for the trail, fits and feels like a sneaker, and it's very on trend. So when I think about who this shoe is for, it's someone who cares about vintage style with trail sneaker technicality. Thanks for joining me in the Gear Lab today for my ride down on shoes for the trail. Be on the lookout for more videos and more content coming your way. We'll touch on Solomon Spring Summer 23 line, new colors, new things to look out for related to the trail. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. Thanks again for joining us in the Gear Lab. This is Tide signing off and I'll see you out there.